Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Tactical Chaos, and we are back here with another Division 2 Best Solo PvE build video. And today we are going back to the Striker Girtha Catharsis build, and we are taking another look at it. And I am trying to make the best version of it that I can. And so, what I've came up with out of everything that I've tried today is the dark winter with the striker gear set bro with the uh, catharsis mask uh, striker chest piece and backpack together is probably going to be the best combo for that to work now let's go ahead and head over towards this way can we make it there yes we can i'm gonna go ahead and cross them off right there anyway and i will explain to you guys on the way why i think that this is the best combo now it's because we have the ACS, which allows us to build up the, you know, um, striker stacks really fast, and that's good. But you also want a weapon that's going to build up stacks on its own, you know, to a certain extent. And the Vector SBR is definitely that weapon. At 1,380 rounds per minute, spitting out this fucker with the striker, bro, it is an absolute monster. But we also got Perfect Killer on here, okay? So, that is a 50% critical hit damage when we kill with critical hits, which is like every time, basically. And uh, so we build up that critical hit. You got that critical hit damage going pretty quick. So with this build, we're hitting at 230% bonus damage, bonus uh, weapon damage, along with um, 100 and around 150 critical hit damage. Uh, we're almost there. We'll get up to that. And we got 1.7 million, uh, 1.7 mil armor on this build. That is an absolute tank with high weapon damage. It's a great, great build. And the catharsis, I mean, does give you a little bit of armor, but not much. I don't really repair armor. It's not worth it to be saying anything about it, right? Well, you guys see how powerful this build really is, dude. How much damage you can apply to your enemies while staying alive because you got that 1.7 mil armor on it, which is amazing. Oh, we got another resource convoy behind us, so I'm going to go ahead and take that out too real quick. Where did that convoy go? Perfect, bro. I love it when I hit double convoys like that, bro. Great for farming shade level. And like right now, we got that apparel event going on, so it's just... Uh, Works out perfect. I'm going to go ahead and let them get close. Hit them with the AC-12. Now we got a medic on the field. I better go stop that fucker.
Did I already get that one? Oh yeah, it's the elite ones over here. You gotta do, we just ran through those fuckers so quick. Bro, that was beautiful. Alright, so let's go ahead and go over these specs real quick. Uh, how close are we to the next apparel cash key? Hopefully not too far. Huh. Hold on, you guys. I want to go ahead and hit this territory control real quick before we finish off the video. I'm sorry, guys. I just want to try and get that key while I'm in the zone, you know, just so I was smashing and shit. We will go over the specs here in two seconds. Let's just go ahead and take down this territory control real quick. These fuckers out the way. Alright, and grab that key, grab that case, and then we will be done with this part right here. I don't think I'm going to get enough XP right here with this little thing to level up, but that's okay. Close enough, though. Alright. Let's check out what I'm running right now. So... We got the technician specialization going on, which gives us an extra skill tier. Link laser, if I want to use it, I don't know why it's on right now. I don't got no reason for it to be on, so let's put that back on right there. All right, so um, we have the ACS-12, which I should have the uh, perfect rock and roll, or should have the rock and roll on, but I don't. Um, anyway, this helps you build up your stacks really fast for your striker gear set. And then, like I said, to keep them up, I'm using my Dark Winter, which has uh, 62k weapon damage. It's not really that high, right? A little weapon damage because I'm at 1.7 mil armor. I don't know why it says 1.6. It should be at 1.7. But it's okay. Alright, so... Um, then we got 1,380 rounds per minute with Perfect Killer on it. Um... Killing an enemy with a critical hit grants 50% critical hit damage for 10 seconds. So that hits pretty hard. Let's go check out the critical hit damage right here. 60% critical hit chance, 102 critical hit damage. So we're sitting at 150 critical hit damage with the Dark Winter. Max critical hit chance. And then let's check out the damage that we're going to be doing. So with the Striker gear set, we have the 15% uh, weapon handling, 15% rate of fire, and then Striker's Gamble. So, uh, before we get into that, so, the backpack gives you, uh, turns 0.65 to 1%. So, right here, I'm going to go, the weapon hits increase total weapon damage by 0.65%, stacking up to 100 times. So, now it's not 0.65, now it's 1%. So, weapon hits increase weapon damage by 1%, stacking up to 100 times, that's 100% weapon damage. We have armor, critical hit chance, and critical hit chance mod on here. Let's go over to the chest piece, which we have armor, critical hit damage, critical hit damage on the chest piece. And then we get press the advantage for having the chest piece on. This increases max stacks from 100 to 200. 
So now we're getting 200% damage, but we got two, we got to build up 200 stacks. That's a lot of stacks. That's why you need the ACS and the high firing primary, which is why I got the dark winter, because that's 200 stacks we got to build up. But that's 200% damage. That's a fucking hell of a lot of bonus damage right there. We got armor, critical hit damage, yeah, critical hit damage mod, like I said. But so now here the thing is, when you're between um, 100 and 200 stacks, you're going to lose three stacks per second. So you're going to lose a lot of stacks really quick if you're not firing fast. And then on my, I got weapon damage, critical hit damage on the gloves. Armor, critical hit damage on the knee pads, Picaro's holster with armor, weapon damage, critical hit damage, and skill haste. And then we got the catharsis mask, armor, incoming repairs, armor regen, critical hit chance, and a vicious cycle. Taking damage builds a stack of 1% weapon damage to a max of 30 stacks. When you take damage at 30, it triggers a purge, removing all stacks and uh, status effects you might have, and then it drops a healing cloud, which heals 5% of your max armor over 10 seconds. And so, uh, I was at 1.7 mil armor a minute ago. Don't know why I'm at 1.6. I'll have to look into that. But anyway, we got a lot of armor on this build, and so the cool thing about the catharsis is you take in damage, right? As you take in damage, even onto your shield, so you got your shield out and you're taking damage to your shield, you're building up weapon damage against your enemy. So that's 30% weapon damage you get from here. 200 you get from the striker gear set. With 150 critical hit damage, high armor, that's you're hitting 230% bonus damage on top of your regular damage. Making this build extremely overpowered. And then we got the striker drones, you know, for a little bit of a efficiency and helping out and a tier six shield and then if shit gets real thick you can bust out your busy bee jump a, jump a, dump a couple shots on different hostiles and build up 20 percent weapon damage from each hostile you tag and switch back to your primary but it, it there's a little bit too many moving parts with this build as it is with building up your stack so using the busy bee is probably going to be a last resort for me unless i'm running legendary anyway Thank you guys for watching this Tactical Chaos. I hope you guys enjoyed another build video. If so, a like rating would be much appreciated. And thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.